Hello, welcome back. I'm James Marchington, and this is your weekly news update from TSC. This week, we're announcing the winner of our giveaway for a pair of tickets to this weekend's High Clear Country show. So keep watching to see if you've won. Plus, we've got another giveaway for you. This time, we're giving away two Alan Payne fleece gilets, each worth £80. In the news, Matt Coward Holly has won a second quota place for Great Britain at the 2020 Olympic Games. The government is freezing firearms licensing fees for another year, and we've got details of the events coming up at the Oxford Gun Company, including the Fausty Ladies' Day on the 8th of June and the BSA Air Gun Challenge that runs throughout next month. All that and more coming up after this. Matt Coward Holly won silver in the men's trap at the World Cup in Korea on Thursday, securing a quota place for Team GB at the Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games. Matt equaled the British record of 124 out of 125 in qualification, leading the field going into the final. It came down to a sudden death shoot-off for the gold medal between Matt and Andreas Macri from Cyprus, who'd both scored 45 in the final. Matt missed his sixth target, and the gold went to Macri, who collects a quota place for Cyprus. Matt said he was over the moon with his win, which was the culmination of a lot of hard work in the months leading up to the event. The government has promised that firearms licensing fees won't be reviewed this year after all. Nick Hunt at the Home Office has written that the planned annual review will not take place because of delays in implementing the online licensing system and the need to sort out the arrangements for medical checks with shooters' GPs. Basque welcomed the assurance and thanked the pro-shooting MPs who'd lobbied for the fees to remain unchanged. A comprehensive review of firearms licensing fees is now likely to take place next year. This weekend, it's the Highclere Country Show in the grounds of Highclere Castle near Newbury in Berkshire. It's on this Sunday, the 26th, and Bank Holiday Monday, the 27th. It's always a great show with masses of trade stands, demonstrations, gun dog events, terriers and lurchers, game cooking, have a go stands, air guns, and clay shooting competitions. The Oxford Gun Company will be there both days with a stand near the main arena. And I'll be at the show on the Sunday, filming for this channel. So if you're visiting, do drop by and say hello. Last week we had a giveaway for a pair of tickets to the show, and now it's time to pick the lucky winner. Dozens of you put the correct answer in the comments. It was C, Downton Abbey, which was filmed at Highclere Castle. We put all the right answers in the draw, and the winner is... Matthew Hampton. Congratulations to you, Matthew. To claim your prize, call the Countryman Fairs office on 01889 563232. And if you weren't lucky in that one, keep watching for details of this week's giveaway for two Alan Payne fleece gilets. It's just a fortnight to go to the Fausty Ladies Shooting Day on the 8th of June at the Oxford Gun Company. It's going to be a fun day for ladies who shoot or even if you've never shot before and fancy giving it a go. Plus, you get the chance to try Fausti's brand new ladies' model, the Aphrodite, at the gun's official South of England launch. The event's also supported by Musto, with goodie bags for participants and Musto clothing worth over £500 to be won on the day. To find out more and to book your place, call Lucy or Nikki at the Oxford Gun Company on 01844 238 308. Now, if you've been following the saga of the general licenses and changes to the law on shooting crows, pigeons and other pest birds, then there's very little to report this week. There are still just three very limited general licenses for shooting carrion crows, wood pigeons and Canada geese. Beyond that, you need to apply for an individual license to shoot any other pest birds. Countryside organisations, including Basque and the Countryside Alliance, have written to Michael Gove, asking for a full investigation. In the meantime, they say, every day lost sees more damage to game birds, wildlife, crops and livestock. The subject was due to be discussed in Parliament today at a meeting of the Environment, Food and Rural Affairs Committee. 
you can watch it on Parliament Live TV. It's unlikely to make gripping viewing, but I'll put a link in the description below. Continuing the general licence theme, for my pick of YouTube this week, I've chosen this video from Field Sports Channel. They visited a farm on the Isle of Wight, where as many as 200 lambs are being killed by crows, and they've captured the video evidence to prove the harm these birds cause. It makes distressing viewing. To add to the farmer's problems, 60 sea eagles are due to be released nearby as part of a reintroduction project. To watch the video, click on the link in the description below. Now we've got another giveaway for you this week with two smart and practical fleece gilets from Alan Payne. They're worth around £80 and we're giving away one men's and one ladies version. To enter, simply type I'd like an Alan Payne gilet in the comments below this video on YouTube and tell us whether you want the men's or ladies version. We'll pick one winner for each and announce their names on this programme in a couple of weeks' time. Coming up in June at the Oxford Gun Company, it's the BSA Air Gun Challenge, which runs throughout the month. There's nearly a thousand pounds worth of BSA air guns to be won on a specially designed course of spinning targets. And everyone who enters goes into a draw to win a Gamo air gun. We'll have all the details in our programme on Thursday, so make sure to tune in again and watch that one. In the meantime, please give us a like, hit the subscribe button and share us with your shooting friends. It all helps us to promote shooting to a wider audience. And do please support the sponsors who are supporting this channel when you're shopping for a gun, cartridges, clothing and the rest. See you Thursday!